but there's a lot of stuff you can do. Typically, the rural area has enough people, and you can not only get up in ranking, but you can dominate the heck out of it. Hey there, Nolan Walker here with HVAC Webmasters. Today is, is Google Maps rigged against rural HVAC businesses. So a lot of, lot of HVAC contractors will move out to the country on the outskirts of town, and I don't blame them. It's, it's maybe a better place to live. So go out to the country and maybe not get as much um, spread on it. So when you're out there, let's say, let, let me use an example. Let's say that you're 30 minutes outside of town, but you work town. So I'm going to use an example. I'm going to use uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Jasper, Tennessee. Jasper, I think, is about half an hour away. Jasper's a nice area. Plenty of business out there. Not as many rooftops. So Google's going to look for what they think is most relevant to search, to the searcher, based on their geo-coordinate. So if you go onto the area, and this is for anything, listen, anybody tells you that they're going to change this algorithmically where the map shows up is straight up lying to you, but there's ways to maximize everything. If you want to know where the red dots show up, the pins, not the map itself, the pins, you would go and say, HVAC contractor Chattanooga TN or AC repair Chattanooga TN and then click on the expanded map and you'll see where they're currently showing people. That's subject to change. Google changes all the time, but they won't go out to Jasper, right? They don't go out there. Um, but Jasper has people around it. When you're in a rural area, they're going to show possibly a little larger area, but they might not show the area you want. Um, so technically, you're going to get less rooftops on that area. It doesn't mean you don't do it, but it's based upon where you got your Google address verified and where somebody's searching. And that doesn't have anything to do with how many people are there. So Google at some point stops showing the map. And usually if somebody's located inside the loop, sometimes if the area's bigger, it's gotta be in the loop or it's here or it's there. You might get a tiny bit extra spread from Google if you have something like data pens and say, hey, we do work all over this area. Um, but I'll talk about data pens in just a minute and geo-coordinating shout outs like, hey, Google, we did something right here, like replaced an M30 Wi-Fi thermostat or whatever it is. Um, so if you're in a rural market, what's the moral of the story? You need to market. There's a ton of business on Google. It's the largest thing that's ever existed. I was talking to a guy the other day, and because you know I'm sitting here telling him he wants to show up in one market, he's located in another market, that doesn't mean you don't market at all. It doesn't mean that. If you want to show up in the big city, you may need to move your address there legitimately. That does not mean a P.O. box. Sometimes they'll accept a home and a service address, and sometimes they won't. Sometimes they'll accept a virtual office, and sometimes they won't. Most of the time, Google wants to see light industrial space with your decal on the door. Someplace that looks like an HVAC contractor would be right there, and it's technically supposed to be manned. So... People will get a house done, they'll get a virtual office, and sometimes show up. You want the most legitimate address possible, and we'll try for you and see if Google will allow it to go through. This does not mean because you find a competitor that has phony addresses all over town that you should try to do that, because the likelihood is that you're going to get taken down. Uh, people argue this all the time. This is not me. This is not our company. This is not HVAC Webmasters or Data Pens. This is Google's rules. Think of it as no shoes, no shirt, no service. They have the right to impose these rules on how their search algorithm works and where they show you and whether they approve a location or not. They're really just trying to have the best search uh, for the Google searcher, the best outcome for that, something that they think is most relevant. So if you're too far away, that you're just not relevant. But you still need to go for it because it's huge. You can get daily call volume even in a rural market. Now, I will tell you, if you're in a county, and let's, let's define it as 25,000 or less, it's going to be rough. That's rough. Um, there are how many houses? Let's call it 30,000. We'll do some easy math. How many? Let's say, three, let's say there's no apartments. It's all homes. Let's say three people per home. There's 10,000 houses. 
How many times those people work on their HVAC systems? I don't know. Let's say that they do it um, every three years. They need uh, repairs done. So 3,333 of them going to get repairs that year. So maybe you can get some business off of it. Let's say it's 2,500. Um, they're not all going to come to the same place. So you want some rooftops. You do. Um, and if it's this rule to where there's not a lot of competition, you're going to show up and pack three anyway. You, you need a website. You need an approved Google, verified Google business location, GBP. But you might not need to market if there's nobody out there. The, the flip side of this, you might not make any money if there's nobody out there. So if you move too far away from town, you might go get another address. It'll probably need to, uh, you know, Google's going to have to like it. Sometimes they let you go through in a house. Sometimes they don't. And it'll need to jive with Google's webmaster guidelines. And uh, we know what they are. We'll help you as much as we can. We're not going to help you spam or go throw up locations all over the place because you saw somebody else do it or that somebody else has a few locations that have been up for years. If you're brand new starting out, get one location, get it approved, and get it up and ranking. Let's talk about data pens. It does help you expand a little bit, and especially on organic optimization. So if the map doesn't show up and you're looking for something weird like an M30 Wi-Fi thermostat and nobody goes for this stuff, which most people don't, they don't tell Google where they're doing work and what happened. It may not, you know, teleport and jump you all the way over to Chattanooga from Jasper, half an hour away, but it might show you on organic and likely would for all the nuanced keywords that you have, parts, brands, etc. And yes, you can tag those to uh, that geolocation and it'll create a page of content They'll be very likely to show you for all the nuanced things because people don't go for this stuff. And if Google knows you worked on Linux Air Handler or this capacitor or this coil cleaner or an M30 Wi-Fi thermostat, they go, hey, these boys just down the road do this. They made a page of content about it in Chattanooga. So you can absolutely get benefit from there. I don't think this means that everyone rule goes and gets a office location in the major city. It depends on how rural it is. If there's 100,000 people around, you're probably pretty good to go. Good news about that is you're going to get a bigger piece of a smaller pie, get up and ranking faster when you're in those rural markets like that. I have plenty of clients in what I'd call a mid-market area. One of my favorite clients is in Kathleen, Georgia. But he optimized for Kathleen, Georgia, uh, Bonaire, and Warner Robins, Georgia. All the way around there, he, he really got a vice grip on this area. But there's a little bit of population here. It's not huge, but it's not just straight rule. Every once in a while, I get a hold of somebody, and they call up, and they're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, nowhere. No population around them. And again, um, they want more leads, but they're going to pop up and pack three mapping anyway because there's like 2,000 people in town, right? There's not a lot of HVAC contractors. Problem is, they won't get business, and they're usually eyeballing a town half an hour, 60 minutes away, hour away. Um, and again, just go into Google, type in HVAC contractor, AC repair in the city that you're looking at and see where the red dots show up. If you're outside of that, you're not going to get primary map placement there, but there's a lot of stuff you can do. Typically the rural area has enough people and you can not only get up in ranking, but you can dominate the heck out of it. And then you can pull some with pins on the pins pages on organic content for the primary city down the road. And later on down the road, if you want to, you can open up another location legitimately in the eyes of Google, and we'll help you do that kind of stuff and help you get successful online. Google's still huge. You still want to do all this stuff. And uh, yeah, somebody's going to dominate these rural markets. If you want to look in the rural market area too, don't look in the one that came from the big city to the rural market. Is there anybody else in your market with five trucks? Have they been able to sustain that? They'll be there already. That's what's capable. I mean, just keep it kind of logical. That's pretty much what it is. Uh, you might be able to grow a little bit more, but you'll probably have to have another location. You're going to get beyond that. But that's how many trucks can pull from that area. Got questions? You can go to datapens.com, hvacwebmasters.com. You can call us, email us. We'd love to be a service. We'll see you.